Fish keeping and the planted aquarium hobby is such a wonderful pastime for many people around the world, but there is one major problem that plagues this hobby. So many people start off excited about getting into the aquarium hobby. They go out and buy a new fish tank with all the gear and accessories, and they have this dream of having a beautiful tank full of these exotic fish. They fill this tank up with fish, and they soon start running into problems. Either the fish start dying and or the maintenance of the aquarium becomes so much more work than they realized. And then they start researching how to solve this issue or that problem and they're soon inundated with all the information that's out there. Some bad, some good, much of it not really applicable to where they are. And then they start learning about all these other problems they haven't even encountered yet and that might be lurking around the corner just waiting to jump in their tank. They soon realize it's all getting too expensive and too much hassle. What is happening here? All I wanted was a beautiful aquarium, but all I'm getting are headaches. The dream becomes the nightmare, and before long, there is another fish tank and accessories being sold at a discounted rate or perhaps being given away on Facebook Marketplace. So in this scenario, there are many problems, but it really comes down to this, burnout. So how can we address this problem? How can we help people experience the enjoyment of fish keeping in aquariums instead of the frustration, the overwhelm, and burnout? One possible approach that many people gravitate toward is they arm themselves with information. They learn all they possibly can about the aquarium hobby, covering all the angles, anticipating all the problems, delving into the scientific discussions in these online forums, but this can lead to the same problem, the overwhelm which leads to burnout. While it is very important to learn and to gather information, what's more important is to approach this hobby with and develop the right mindset and expectations. Here are five things to consider that can help us develop and keep the right mindset. The aquarium hobby is a journey. It's not a destination. Now that statement can be applied in many different ways to the aquarium hobby, but today in particular as it relates to our expectations. Oftentimes we can envision the perfect aquarium. We develop our own ideal or we see a setup online that we want to replicate. And it is good to have a goal and a direction that we are going, a blueprint. But we have to realize that even if we achieve that perfect aquarium, that ideal, it doesn't just stay that way. It's not static. It's a living system that changes over time. Inevitably, new challenges will come up that will require us to learn and adapt along this journey. It's a process of continual learning, and it requires patience and perseverance at times. Aquariums are a living ecosystem. The beauty that aquariums can bring us is wonderful to experience, but we need to remember that this is not an ornament or a decoration or a toy. This is a living ecosystem full of living creatures and processes at work and an awareness of and respect for that life needs to be present and that shapes how we treat that life. And as a living system, it takes time to, to establish, to grow and mature. And I think we can all relate to you know, wanting to get our fish in the tank as soon as possible, but we need to make sure that that living system is at a stage where it can support and handle that next level of life. It's important oftentimes for us to slow down and take the time to learn about whatever stage we, that we are in. You know, as our example, a new tank being set up. What is the biofilter? How can we encourage beneficial bacteria to develop? Which plants can fill different niches in our system? And how many livestock should we have? And how can all of this work together as part of an ecosystem? Try to keep things simple and sustainable. The overwhelm can happen at any point. It's not just limited to beginners. Let's try to learn one thing at a time and apply it and then move on to the next thing. Let's work on each new problem as it comes up 
instead of trying to learn about all the problems that are out there, which can lead to overwhelm and burnout. Over time, we can seek out the more complex information after we learn the basics. You know, let the pieces of the puzzle build on each other in the order that they're supposed to. If you're a beginner and you find yourself off in the weeds in some chat room thread discussing the finer details of water chemistry or there's some argument going on about which substrate has better cation exchange capacity and if it, you're not ready for that yet and it's overwhelming get the heck out of there man you know if you're watching a video and even if it's one on this channel and it's giving you information that you're just not ready to get into yet and it's overwhelming get the heck out of there you can come back to it at a later point when you're ready enjoy your successes now when you have success in an area like growing a certain plant or breeding a certain fish be sure to recognize and enjoy that even if you know it seemed like not a big deal or it was accidental or whatever because somewhere there is another hobbyist who is wanting and hoping for those same results with that fish or that plant or whatever enjoying success comes naturally to many people but for others it can be a struggle and requires intentionality myself included personally it's all too easy for me to just you know dismiss the small victories and look to the next big challenge that i think is going to satisfy me if i can accomplish and i can get caught up in the comparison game between what i'm doing and what someone else is doing and it just becomes such a mind game that's just not helpful. I first became aware of this one day <laughs> a few years ago. I was looking online, uh, you know, trying to get some ideas for the next tank, and I found this setup that I really liked. And in a moment, in my mind, I thought, that's what I want. Why can't my tanks look like that? What's the secret? I'm just not good enough, and continued on the downward spiral of self deprecation. And, all right, whose tank is this? What can I learn from them? So I clicked on the picture, and it was one of my own tanks that I had previously set up. And I was comparing myself to and getting jealous with my own work that I had done before, which is kind of embarrassing to say that out loud. And I realized I wasn't enjoying and appreciating the successes that I had in the moment, even if they seemed small at the time, and because later, they were something that I was searching for. This hobby, being the journey that it is, does require patience and perseverance at times. You may have to try growing certain plants or keeping certain fish multiple times, trying different techniques before you get it right. There was a time when I could not grow peace lily or pothos or Amazon sword in my tanks. And if I had just given up, I would have missed out on so much. You know, there might be a life lesson or two somewhere in all of this. The aquarium hobby can deepen our knowledge and appreciation for nature, but it's also a chance for personal growth, developing skills that we can apply to other areas of life, like, as we mentioned, patience and perseverance, but also confidence to take on new challenges, creativity, contentment, openness to new ideas, continual learning, and I could go on and on. But dude, I'm just trying to set up a planted tank. Or bruh, my kid just needs help with his first aquarium. I'm not into all this personal growth hoo-ha that you're talking about. <laughs> and to that I would say, that's the beauty about this hobby is that there is a level for everyone. You can keep it as simple or make it as complex as you want. You can keep it shallow or you can go deep. There is a place for every personality type every level of intellect, age, socioeconomic level, you can find a level of involvement that is just right for you. So which of these five points about mindset can you identify with the most? Let me know down in the comments.